G'day guys, how are you going? If you want to put a barbecue in a enclosed space or even semi-enclosed, there's strict regulations around that and basically you can't do it because you'll end up getting carbon monoxide poisoning unless you put an interlock system in. So if you don't know what an interlock system is, stay tuned and I'll explain it. Very simple. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Okay, so as you can see here behind me, it's got this amazing room that they built, okay? It, it can be fully enclosed. So the only way they could have a barbecue installed in there is that they needed to have a range hood, but included in that had to be an interlock system. And I'll, I'll just explain to you what it is now. Okay, so this is how it works, right? So if you've got an indoor barbecue, you really need to have this um, range hood on, sucking all the fumes out and everything from the room um, while it's working, okay? But what the thing is, what if someone forgets to put the range hood on and then all those fumes go in, you get the headache, you get the carbon monoxide poisoning and it all goes on. So what the interlock system is, is all, all it is is it won't let any gas in, in to the barbecue unless that range hood is working. So I'll give you a, a, a quick example, okay? So I'll just show you the interlock system. So the barbecue's hooked up, it's got the gas inside here going to it. Okay, so it's got the, you know, isolation valve. This is the interlock um, solenoid, and here's the, the gas regulator. So this solenoid here is connected by the electrician on, the, on that wire, and it goes up and then up into the roof space there, behind there. So it's, it's got a box there, and that measures the current draw or whatever that's, that's going. So if there's current draw going to this um, range hood, then the solenoid opens up and says, yep, no worries, the gas can come through, okay? But that can be adjusted by the electrician. So you can't just say, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna turn the, turn the lights on, the light on on the, um, on the range hood here, and then it will start going. It needs to be a more of a current draw, so at least the fan's gotta be going, okay? So like you can see now, the light's on, but if I try to light the, the burner, nothing happens. Nothing happens at all, right? But as soon as I turn the fan on, if you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but you, you'll hear the solenoid down there click on. Hear that little click? That means it's on, okay? Fan's on, solenoid's opened up, and now, you'll see, I'll put it on. Gas is fired up. See all the burners are on there now? Okay, flowing away, okay? So then again, as soon as the fan is turned off on the range hood, she'll shut the gas off again, you see? Turn her off, and now she's off. You see, there's no more. No more flames there, just shut it off. So there you have it guys, very easy. That's the gas interlock system on a barbecue. That's just keeping you safe and it means that you can you know, have a beautiful room like this and have it, have it enclosed and still barbecue safely and out of the bad weather. Okay, thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you later.